you see i um i just feel you know on our behalf and others trying to thrive and you know trying to survive and make an honest and legal living mm. i um i want you to sponsor a bill at the parliament you know legalize prostitution I shall... Yes, honor man, is there anything I need to know? Honor man? Sir? Did any constituent come visiting? Constituent? No, sir. Are you sure about that? Good afternoon. Someone just came in. Good afternoon. Mm, okay, is it male or female? Male, sir. Mr. Ojakovo. Let him in. Good afternoon, sir. Please, I'm here to see you. You can go in. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, Honorable Sir. Please, sit down. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yes. <clears throat> so, Mr. Jacobo, to what do I owe this visit? You see, Honorable Sir, Yes. each time I come to this office, mm. it's usually because of the development of this constituency. Mm. You know, youth empowerment programs, youth employment schemes, and usually matters of utmost relevance. Exactly why I wasn't hesitant when my secretary mentioned that you were around. So, thank you, sir. Go ahead. Uh, you see, I have this idea that uh, I think people have not been taken serious and I know it's an idea that will not only generate income for this constituency as a whole, but it will enhance uh, manpower, increase creativity and boost agriculture in the constituency. Go ahead, I'm interested. Okay, so uh, I've come to understand that there is our, this our land, our soil in this constituency is very fertile. Mm. And there is this crop people have not been taken into consideration, especially the government. It's a crop that does very well here when cultivated. Our countries like Japan, Colombia, China, in short, the whole Middle Asia as a whole have all benefited from its uses, be it through exportation, medical or research purposes, or even personal use and consumption. I am very interested when matters of agriculture are mentioned. Thank so, you, please go ahead and provide more details. Uh, let's, see, let's see how it goes. That's why I came to your office. Good. Because I know with your power, we'll be able to have government backing into, you know, massive production of this crop. Because the government, Nigeria as a country, has labelled it illegal. And not just us, some other countries that have not taken time to look at the economic importance of this crop have labelled it illegal. That's why we need your approval, your backing, and government's backing, so that we can go into massive production of this. Mr. Ojakovo, what is this crop we are talking about? Okay, so the name of the crop is Apostillum cannibalum. Apple what? Others call it marijuana. Some even call it weed. Some go to the extent of calling it Indian hen. Something that they are supposed to call Pale hen. Mr. Ozakovo, are you out of your mind? You came to my office to ask my back end for you to plant Igbo. For me to approve planting of Igbo. No, Apostillo cannibal. Apple uh, uh, what? What did you call it again? Apostillo cannibal. You must have smoked it this morning. Huh. I should have told him that. Huh. 
Hi, Tristel Zadi Omolara, aka Sexy Lara, is here to see him and it is very urgent. Did you not hear what I said? Or would you like that I barge into his office instead of you calling him on the intercom, alerting him of my presence? <laughs> Look here, girl. Before the girl that worked, before the one that worked, before the one that worked, after the one that worked, before they sacked her and employed you, I am Olara. I have been the one coming hey, here to. Please hold it. Give it a break. Even if you've known my boss before they gave birth to me or before I started working here, is it my concern? I don't know what is wrong with all of you, especially you ladies. You both lack simple courtesy. You lack courtesy. Hey, what? How dare you? How dare you shut me up? How dare you? Look, I know you never had a good relationship with the people that worked here before me and even after me, hmm? madam. Or something changed in your mannerism, or there's something wrong with your head. Are you going to keep standing there, or you are going to go and come back later? I don't understand. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean I should go and then come back later? It means my boss is not around. And I don't understand. Did you even check your time before coming here today? I don't understand why you wake up and just come here by this time of the day. Wait, I don't understand. So you mean Zari is not around, is not in this arena, and you had the guts to keep me here. I mean, you had the effrontery to keep me here to listen to your jargons and bullshit story? <laughs> My God. Let me tell you this for free. Your days are numbered in this office. I promise you that. Your days are numbered. Would me run? Oh. You come back here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, come, come, come back. Come back. Come back here. Now let me tell you. If you're serious about seeing my boss, next time book an appointment so I can pre-inform him about your coming and make sure when you're coming here, it's strictly business. Did you hear me? Now have a nice day. Did you call you Mbawi? Hmm. Adeke. Would that be? Would that be bread or juice? Oh, no, 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 no. Please go, 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 go. 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 Hmm. Oh, I'm sexy, Lara. Do you know the gravity of what you are saying, Mr. Ojakovo? That I should give you the backing to legalize it, bo. Sir, Honorable, before I came to your office today, I have done my own research. And I am telling you right here that if we, if we weigh the options, the positive outweighs the negative, whichever way you want to look at it. Really? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I brought a sample of what I'm talking about. Oh, glory. You got the bully in the door! Hello, no matter what is it? Send him in. Mr. Ojakovo, you brought the bull plant into my office. Sir, if you can sniff this. I should sniff what? Now sniff yourself out of my office. Oh. Sir, this thing is very medicinal. You are sniffing it right in front of me. If you can just sniff it, sir. Mr. Jacobo, at this point, I will advise you sniff yourself out of my office before I sniff you into the police station. What is wrong with you? Oh! <laughs> Honorable Malik. Yes, sir. Welcome. You're uh, really a long ride. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Adarimo. Mr. Aposida, are you still here? Sir, what I'm trying to... Aposide yourself out of this place. But now! Okay, <sighs> oh, my leg. Oh, Emily. Glow, glow. Peace be unto this house. Amen. <laughs> I'm always on time. Yes, I'm, I didn't know you were already close when you called me. Oh, sorry for that. Okay, um, what's the update? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I forget. Emoji was here yesterday. What does he want? About the youth empowerment that you said you look into. And who said I'm not looking into it currently? I'm currently looking into it and I have to look thoroughly <laughs> to see things myself properly. I don't understand. What don't you understand? You see, our work as parliamentarians is very different from being a deacon in the church or an elder in the church. Because uh, the political system, there's a lot of scrutiny. So things have to be done in proper and cautious way or manner so that we can balance law and maintain order. I still don't understand. Baby, I'm running late already. I hope I told you I have a very important meeting today. Can we just talk about this later when I come in the evening? Okay, look at it this way. Uh, as a parliamentarian, my objective, duty and loyalty is restricted to a certain group, which is my constituency first. So my constituents come first. Do you understand? So uh, if I, if the people hear today that, oh, they are giving church members grants, so you will be shocked the number of people, even native doctors and everybody will come to that church and begin to claim they are, they are church members. You know how I many? You know the number of people that will begin to be to flush him. Baby, if it's the number, it's not a problem now. Emoji would just sort that one out now. You don't understand how politics work or how government works. That is not how government works. Let me tell you. Do you know if I decide to say, okay, as a parliamentarian, I want to use my own personal money to give grants through a church, for example, immediately the word gets out. People will say it's people's money. It's the government's money, no longer my money. So there are so many nitty gritty involved in these things. You know? There are ways of going through this thing and be done in a way that uh, will not have issues. Eh? Not this rush, 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 rush medium. Please, let me get to work first, okay? I will look through it and I'll continue to consider it. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. See you later. <coughs> I'll be expecting a positive response from you, daughter of Zion. This is making it two Sundays since your husband made that declaration. Please tell Zaria I'm here to see him. And please don't give me any of all those bullshit, cock and bull story. I won't buy any of it. Just tell him I'm around. Honorable Malik, so how was your medical trip abroad? Well, um, everything went well. You know how it is with medical care abroad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is one of the things we need to work on in this country. We can't continue encouraging medical trips abroad. We need to improve our medical facilities. We need to improve the lives of our medical personnel. We need to encourage them. Zadi. Yes. There will be so much at stake if we try to do these things overnight. What do you mean if we try to do these things overnight? You are talking as if you are not from this country. And so? These things will take time. Take time. And uh, it will not be good for us. You know these things now. I don't know these <laughs> things, Honorable Malik. Hey, you know this. No, thing. I don't. Uh -uh. Tell him I'm here to see him. You again. You again. You have come here again with this your bad attitude. Hmm. You are very rude. I'm telling you, you are very rude. You are very rude and saucy. You don't know the people on your level. You just open your mouth and talk to people anyhow. Oh, wait. Honorable Malik, are you talking about the medical trip uh, allowances? Oh, no. The, 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 the other benefits that comes with it. The luxury. They are the nine. As you are going, you, are the you go with one or two constituents. <laughs> but we need to change. We need to change. We can't change. We need to change. We have to be doing these things here. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. It will not favor some of us. You know these things. Yeah. It will not favor some of us. You know these things. But what are you? Who? Ah, what do you mean by that? What, 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 what? I don't talk to people anyhow. I don't talk to anybody anyhow. I only talk to people the way they present themselves to me. Please, oh, as you can see, I'm about to. Elusa. 
or no matter what is going on in your office, I can hear noises coming from that place. Has the young man not gone yet? So I left since. What is this hula balo all about? Who are you quarreling with? So I someone who calls herself sexy Lara. Oh. Um, tell her to give me a few minutes. That's the problem, sir. I told her you're busy inside, but she keeps misbehaving and running her mouth. She just keeps training insults at me. Me? Running my mouth? Oh, no, man. Is that how you talk to my guests? Behave yourself. Sorry, sir. Tell her I will see her in a jiffy. Okay, sir. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. He said you should wait, or if you cannot wait, you leave. I don't have time for you to do. Mm -hmm. I beg. This is storyline everywhere. I'm telling you, my brother. That's why I don't allow anyone to come near my office. Except for a serious appointment. Oh yes, uh, that uh, you, are, you are right. Uh, Honorable Malik. <laughs> What is the essence of uh, voting you into power uh, to represent your constituency if your constituents can't have unhindered access to you? That is why it's always recommended that uh, all parliamentarians should have an office at their various constituency as well as the federal level. That uh, constituents can meet up with us. To tell us their problems, their needs, the challenges they are facing in the constituency. <laughs> Honorable Zadi, Malik. You see, politics is not uh, a monarchy where we have a king and uh, a palace. People run to the palace to shout. They don't steal my wife or they don't do want it to my good. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, there are certain kind of people I allow meetings with. Hey. You know, I will not want you to come and tell me what to do in my constituency. We already know all these things. So, no too much talking, you know. Hmm. Very typical. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought to drop by to see you and know how you are doing. I was already on my way to see one of these uh, newly acquired properties. You know how it is now. <laughs> yeah, you acquired new property. Ah, never were now. No time more. <laughs> this is my turn also. I must use it. All of them are like, we are doing well. We are no one of the constituency. Exactly. Thank you very much for dropping by. Right, I will sir. see you again. Try okay. and uh, say me hi to Madam. Oh, yes, I will. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> What's your name? Sexy Lara, sir. Oh, sexy. Mm -hmm. You're really sexy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I guess you're here to see Zaddy, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Right. Did I ask you to go in? Okay. What's a way It's all right. Sassy Lara, how are you? Ah, come on, what is it? This your secretary is getting too saucy by the day and I don't like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah? I know an man sometimes talks to people anyhow. But it's okay, please have a seat. Sit down, sit down, relax. Huh? Come on. So how are you? My major concern is not about how she talks or how she runs her mouth. That's a problem. That's a headache. This is the second time I am coming to your office today and she has reasons to always send me off. You mean you've been here today before? Of course I have been. If it's not that you're busy, it is that you, you, you are in a meeting, it is that you're this. I have been here. I don't understand. You, you can imagine her telling me to, 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 to get a form to fill, to come and see you. For what? A whole me, sexy Lara. Oh, sexy Lara. You shouldn't be getting angry over being given a form to book an appointment in an official environment. You know, it's a policy or protocol that we all must follow in an, uh, in an official environment. Because of the way things are done these days, you know, we all have to structure and pattern our activities. It's nothing personal, you know. I see why I don't know. I understand protocol. Zari, I do. 
But I, I, some of us are not rare here. Like, I'm not a new face in this office. She should know when to act too much of the official thing. Is that least... right, my contractor and personal person? Yeah. So, um, so what brings you to my office today? And you know, the kingdom of God is at hand. Rapture might take place at any time. It might happen today, it might happen tomorrow. Emoji, I have spoken to my husband. And he said he will get back to me, he's looking into it. You know, as a government official, there are procedures and processes to do things. I'm waiting for him. He will get back. No, no, no. The job of looking into things should be for people like us that are equipped who can see into the supernatural realm. It's wasting time. Do you know the amount of blessings that awaits your husband if he can fulfill the promise he has made? Emoji, I understand. Hmm? The Bible says, Blessed is the hand that giveth than the hand that taketh, and the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Oh, let me applaud you. That is very good. You see, uh, <clears throat> I was thinking you and I should go to his office. Maybe I should make him see concrete reasons and dire consequences of time wastage. And uh, why are you doing your face like that? I was thinking you have nothing you are doing at all. You know that you are busy. But um, actually, I came, I came prepared. Uh, he doesn't need any much mathematics. <coughs> Now you're talking. You say, Zali, there is an issue that needs an urgent intervention before things get out of hand. Mm. Okay. You see, my friend, Madame Eniola, a business house was raided two days ago by men from the police force. And to make matters worse, they had to she had to pay three hundred thousand naira and 100,000 naira each for the four girls that were arrested alongside with her. Really? Yes, Daddy. But is it uh, the same Eniola from Coco Watu? Yes, she's the one. You know her. Who doesn't know her? I didn't know. Well, of course I do. But I never knew she was arrested. They arrested her for running an illegal business. Meanwhile, anytime they want to come for the raid, mm -hmm. they always present uh, an, an arrest warrant. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand. You see, I um, I just feel you know on her behalf and others trying to thrive and you know trying to survive and make an honest and legal living. Mm -hmm. I um, I want you to sponsor a bill at the parliament. You know, legalize prostitution. Asha. Bara, what are you talking about? That the government should legalize prostitution? Are you in the right frame of mind? Do you know the amount of ungodly and worldly activities that will spring up from this? Huh? Do you even know owning a brothel or operating a brothel is a criminal offense? And ownership of brothels that operate in such regards are punishable under the law. Section 223. 224 and 225 of the National Penal Code. Hmm. Sadi, let's not be hypocritical about this things. Let's not be hypocritical. I know ladies that do these things. They do it undercover. And they're living large. They're living the life. Mm -hmm. Trust me, Sadi, we should only look at the brighter side of these things. Brighter side? How bright? See, if you allow prostitutes to operate like other businesses, cases like psychological, emotional, and mental cases will be eradicated. Really? Sexy Lara, mm -hmm. it is prostitution we are talking about here. What is wrong with you? It is prostitution that campaigning and campaigning for like someone campaigning to, to be voted into our office. What is wrong with you? Zadi, I know what I am saying. It will not only help men with low self-esteem, it will help men with inferiority complexes. Let's not lie to ourselves. We know the amount of 
prostitution thing going on undercover. You know this thing. Yes, Zadi, don't look at me that way. See, the government will benefit from this if they legalize prostitution when it is being operated as a legal entity in its own right. Exactly how do you mean? How do you classify bronze girls, core girls, courtesans, even hookup girls? Girls with God-given natural body. How do you expect them to treat clients in their other businesses? Something we call corporate prostitution. Do you know the amount of sexually transmitted diseases that will be spread around if prostitution is legalized? What about uh, women trafficking? Even underage girls will be lured into it in the name of legalization. This is the main reason why this thing should be legalized. How? See, a lot of these bad stuff happen because it is being done in the secret. If the government can just make this thing legal, there will be penalties for defaulters. See, before one can obtain a license to own a brothel or a joint, their sex workers need to be tested, their sanity and their health status. They even need to undergo sex programs. Hmm. Ceci Lara. Yes, Daddy. Like I said earlier, I'm not seeing you like an ambassador of this crusade. It's okay, I've heard everything you said. It's not something I could just dabble into mm -hmm. overnight. So I will take my time to process everything you have presented and uh, I will get back to you. Mm. Are you sure, Zadi? Zadi! Are you sure you get back to me? Why don't you move over here? Let's have a better Leave discussion. Me alone. Ah! In that list are the names of 3,000 youth that will be empowered, that need the empowerment. What your husband need to do is just to move, move the money from his bank account to my account. She use access. Energy. Hey, names on this list <laughs> come on come on come on this uh, <laughs> you see uh, uh, things like this <clears throat> i will see also do my spiritual screening i will also screen them and in things like this it is only those that are serious to be eligible for the for the empowerment um, emoji let me even ask you your full church how many people are in their church you see the things of the spirit cannot be explained to a kind person. Emoji. I greet my son. Please, you have started. I'm not your son. The only reason I came here is because I know the wife listens to you. That's why I said I should come and see you. So please. So you think coming to meet me on the street is the best way? Don't you know where my church is? And the days I'm doing counseling and meeting with people? Yes, I know. Emoji, please don't be offended. As you can see, I was even on my way to your church. Thank God I met you here. You see, for a very long time, I've been coming to invite you to church. That you should give your life to Christ and repent from your old way. Yes. But you vehemently refuse and you have your heart in heart. And let the Lord put your name in the book of life. But, and you even vehemently refuse. See, what you don't know, God has a way of getting to us all. Yes, it's true. Emoji, you are right. Good. But if you can do this for us, if you can do this for me, I will not only give my life to Christ. You see, all the youth in this community, I will mobilize them for Christ. You not trust me. See, for now, I don't need youth in my church. I don't need youth in my congregation. You don't need youth. I don't need youth. If, as I say, as a matter of fact, there are too much names in the book of life. Right now. That is why the angels are taking it slowly. If I may ask, why do you want to see me? Why do you want to see me? Why do you want to see me? See, as I'm talking to you now, I'm on a crucial assignment. And time is of the essence. Honorable, cancel all appointments for today. Except for constituents. 
and uh, if anyone comes tell them i'm very busy before someone badging here to tell me to legalize madness by the way i want to see you in my office right away Mama, what was that attitude you put up with Lara the other time? Yes, I want you to know. See, what he doesn't understand is that apart from this small, small bad thing, this thing causes, there are so many benefits to it. That's why we say government should legalize it. <coughs> you see, Jacobo. Yes. I will keep telling you that you should repent from your evil ways and your old ways. You see your life? Because if you continue like this, you will not end well. What are you trying to say? Now what you want, you want the government to approve it, legalize it, so that you can be holding the boy in your, in your hand, walking on the street. <sighs> Is that what you want? See your life? Emoji, how can you even say that? Have you ever seen me with anything of such nature before? Have you seen me smoking weed before? He did smoke small. That is the reason you want the government to legalize it. Eh? So that if, if you are smoking it now, if you are smoking it, you won't have a way or have any 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 way to criticize you people or criticize you that you are smoking it. Bro. Ha! You can imagine, you are even telling me that I should help you meet Zadi's wife. I should talk to Zadi's wife so that Zadi's wife will present it to Honorable. Honorable will now approve it. For what? So that when I allow you people to be smoking the dough, you will now hold the mandola on the street and be walking. I see the reason you are growing. Isn't it? I don't understand you. What kind of man do you think I am? See, emoji, look, if you will not assist, you say it. Stop giving all this excuse. Because even the weed we are talking about, who told you is a sin? Says who? If you can give me one verse in the Bible that criticizes the use of weed, I will not only stop talking about it to you, I will stop talking about it to anybody at all. Because from my knowledge, even the prophets of old, original prophets who, the prophets of old, they used to take it to get inspiration and focus. What are you telling me? Wait, 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 I don't understand where you are heading to. Are you trying to tell me something or what? Or what? Original prophet, what do you mean, okay? So who am I? Barrister White, when you said you have something very important to discuss with me, if I had known it had to do with this young man here, who had earlier come to discuss one nonsense discussion with me about a procedure? Bottom line, was talking about it, book. That is weird. I would have asked you to come to my house. Honorable, what we are talking about right now is very, very huge. It had huge benefits. If only we can look beyond what we think of it right now and key into the benefits. I've done my own research too. And I've come to discover that there are a whole lot of countries that have been benefiting from this thing for ages. Hmm. At least there is no harm in trying, sir. You people do not understand how our people behave. That is my problem. As in me. You see, if you legalize weed in this part of the world, my greatest fear is that it will be abused. You will see people selling weed in traffic. In the corners of every street, children will even be lured into it and start abusing it. They will miss it up the legalization of the way. That's my problem. No, it won't get to that. There are rules and regulations to these things. Take, for instance, alcohol is rated 18 and it's sold everywhere in the streets. But have you seen children drinking alcohol along the road or in the streets? No. Personally, I'm not even looking at the smoky side of it. It has medical, recreational, and economic values. It is an ID painkiller, it is an appetizer, and there's a whole lot we can benefit as a constituency or as a constituency when farmers begin to grow it, especially in commercial uh, values and scale. It has a lot of benefits, 
but I'm only scared of the negative effects. What I'm really scared of. Even you too. What do you know about it, though? Ah, baby, <laughs> my hair cream. All my hair creams, they have a bow. Yes, it helps the hair grow, radiate, beautiful. In fact, 80% of all the hair products in this country, they see bow. Is that why you people behave somehow? Does it hire you? I was so shocked when I saw the number of names he wrote. Oh, my darling wife, please don't mind emoji. I have my own plans. What I have in mind is totally different. You know, I'm planning to meet with the youth one after the other to, to, to interact with them and check out their business plans. Mm. When I look at the business plans, the ones that have concrete business plans are the ones I'm going to commit my funds to. Do you understand? And I'm going to be doing it batch by batch, starting with 20. Mm. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. How about the weed legalization bill? Are you still going to sponsor that? Never. We are not ripe for such yet. We can't legalize weed in this country. At the rate uh, the, the youth are uh, wanting to get high. Do you know I heard that young boys are guess are not sniffing toilets to get high? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are sniffing gutters. Even some I've heard some people are sniffing armpits oh. to get high. It's terrible. Then you legalize weed. They will look at things from a different angle. So we can't risk that. Rather, I'm considering passing or uh, sponsoring a bill that will be passed into law to legalize something different. Mm, nice. What's that? Uh, legalization of prostitution. Eh? Yes. What did you just say? I said legalization of prostitution. It's a very thriving and uh, engaging business. It's a high tax paying uh, hustle. In parts of the world, it's legalized and it brings in generating income. Yes, you see, if you know the amount of money that is in that industry, ah, it's a, it's a lot. And uh, the nation, you see, all these guests are just hiding other code names to operate because they are not licensed, they are not, it's not legalized here. Yeah. They operate under the names of Hookup, Ross Guests, Escort, and Models, they are not, and so on and so forth. If it is legalized, the government will generate heavy tax from it. It will, it will add to our GDP. I beg you. Is it not common, Ashawo? Eh? How much do prostitutes make that their tax will now be significant in the economy? What? You don't know what you are talking about. If you know the amount of money girls are making to sustain themselves in this country from prostitution, you will be amazed. It is enormous. Girls are buying cars and building houses servicing worthy men in this nation mm -hmm. yes so cool. yes you seem very informed in this prostitution topic are you among the wealthy men i'm feeling sleepy come back here are you among the wealthy men i want to sleep mm -hmm. so cool. Listen, I tried to stop him, but he blew blood on my face, and I started seeing dead people. You saw dead people? <laughs> uh, 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 Mr. Ma, why, why do you have to barge into my office like this? What? Honorable Zadi? Yes. Let me call Amiami. Amiami. Honorable? I'm ready to die. Move yourself back here. You don't know what I'm talking about, father. Is it on the father? <laughs> Honorable, yes. I decided to follow protocol to come to you for your office. And if not, you will see me for your bedroom for the middle of the night. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Amiami, uh, the teacher of Amiami, for following due process to come to my office. Please let's sit down and talk. You should not be sitting down, matter. Because if I want to sit down, I will carry seat from my house. Come here. I brought a seat from your house. Yes! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Continue, sir. Personally, in the area, yes. I'm here on behalf of all the native doctors for this constituency. In the area, so I, I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. See, see, this new government, what we organize, yes. All my policies, one of the brought for granted, you know, they think for us. Okay. 
and you and say you know what legalize Igbo and Ashawo. Okay. See, I know if you count the number of Ashawo where they come meet me for Kayamata Shams. I know if you count the number of people or young men, any young young boys. Yes. Where this adult treat of madness for running take of drugs for this society. I don't get problem with that too. Okay. When I can sit down, say when I want to legalize a shower and drugs. We when we say we take care of them, when I leave us behind. Umba. That can't even really happen. Okay, so what do you want? When I must legalize us, may they recognize us for this society. Maybe doctors, you want to be recognized? Yes. Probably now we don't have certificate. You want to have certificate? Yes. Maybe doctor certificate. <laughs> Yes, you will not have ID card and sign board. Brother, if you will give us seat for the government house, you won't sit in the government house. <laughs> Minister of Lady Doctor. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> nah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, Mr. Amiami, <laughs> it is true that the issue of legalizing prostitution and weed, that is in your hand, was on the table. But as a speak, it's off the table. It's no longer part of my agenda. Because we as a people are not yet ripe for that. If we decide to legalize prostitution and weed, we cannot control it. Okay, now we are talking about that. Lady Doctor, which is part of the witch and wizard family, it wants to be legalized. Because I know you, you, you work hand in hand with witches. I, I know. That is what number of us will come and say they want to be legalized. What about kidnappers? So, my brother, we will not discuss this matter. Prostitution, weed, none of them will be legalized. At least not for now. It is power to the people, not for the people to abuse the power. We are done here, sir. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Power to the people.